Welcome back everyone. As I said, my name is Pete. We do a lot of tutorials here and some vlogs and it has been a long time since I've done any type of videography or photography related video on this channel and we're gonna change that today. And by the title of this video, you can obviously see I'm gonna be talking about lenses. like another common question that I get in addition to what camera should I get what lenses should I buy now I think when buying a lens regardless of if you're in sports video photography or, or nature whatever it is you know like I think you should always have one lens that you you can keep on your camera most times and then usually that will probably be some type of zoom lens with a range of focal length so I'm gonna go through the sports that I know best and then also I'm gonna kind of lump in the rest of the sports and give you one lens that I think you should use or buy. With that being said, let's start off with like the most common sport, the one that everyone wants to shoot, and that's football. Now, when you're shooting a football game, you're most likely gonna be on the edge of the field, obviously. Sometimes you're in the stands, whatever. You're either gonna be behind the end zone or on the sidelines, right? You need something that can get you close because there's gonna be people far away from you, but also if someone's running straight at you into the end zone, you're gonna need that kind of ability to zoom out just a little bit. If I had to go with a lens, a great all around lens for, for football video, I would pick the Canon 70 to 200 millimeter F 2.8. Now this is a nice lens, it's very expensive, but it allows you to get close and then also a little farther back when something happens in the end zone in front of you. Now there are some limitations if someone's right in front of you celebrating, but I mean, you gotta have some trade-offs. This is a great lens. I used to shoot either with a monopod at Georgia or most likely through the eyepiece so you can follow the ball better. And, and it gave us great results, right? It's a great all around lens for not just football, but every sport. And I'll get into that later. Another cheaper option would be like the Sony 24 to 240 mil, something in that range, which is like a 24 to 240 or, or a 70 to 200. Obviously Canon, Sony, not everyone's gonna be shooting with that. So something in that range and that's, those are what you're gonna want just so you can have that variability of wider and then also tighter. And on that point, I'm just gonna say, you don't have to get Canon or Sony lenses. I'm just kind of, those are the most commonly used cameras you see. So I'm just gonna give a general idea of what type of range you should get if you do shoot on Nikon or Panasonic or whatever it be. Under the next sport, basketball. I've shot a lot of basketball at Georgia and when you're shooting basketball or if you're shooting high school basketball, college basketball, the NBA, whatever it be, WNBA, you are most likely gonna be under the rim because that's what where all the action happens. So you need something a lot wider. It's not gonna be like football where things are way further away from you. For these, I would opt to look for like a 24 to 105 and this is what the most common lens we used to use at Georgia. It's just the Canon 24 to 105 um, F4. The 24 to 105 Sony Canon, whatever it is, I'm sure Nikon makes something similar. And same with Panasonic. That is what you want for basketball because that allows you to get the wide stuff at the hoop, fast break, dunks, layups, blocks, and then also the tighter ones. You know, if someone shoots from deep, you know, you're gonna, you can go up to 105. You can get the action on the other side of the floor too. That range is what I really sure that's all you're gonna need really and that's nice because it's not as expensive as those 70 to 200 mils now baseball I obviously work for MLB if you follow this channel so baseball is a tough one I've had a lot of experience shooting baseball and a lot of varied gear at Georgia when I shot baseball we would always use a 70 to 200 mil Canon f2.8 like I used for football and that was it, it worked well it worked great that was because we were a lot closer than in most like professional stadiums we were just generally a lot closer because we were in the dugout. That might not be an option for you. It depends on where you're standing. That's the thing with baseball. What lens you need depends on where you will be. This year, since we weren't really interacting with players as much, we were shooting 10 rows deep. I was using a, two, a Canon 200 to 400 f4 to 5.6 with an extender and that worked great. It was perfect for, for what I needed to do and it allowed me to go a little wider, but also very tight. If I was behind the home plate, I would go back to 200. And if I was further down the line, I would go to 400, obviously. The Canon 70 to 200 mil is what you're gonna probably buy here, considering unless you're shooting professional baseball, you're gonna get you're gonna be able to get a lot closer in terms of access 
maybe you're in the dugout, maybe you're behind home plate, maybe you're shooting little league or softball. Now onto the last sport that we're gonna talk about in this video before we get on to like the rest of them. Soccer, you're gonna want something a lot longer. When I worked at Georgia, we used Canon 70 to 300s. Now you have a couple options there if you wanna go cheap or if you wanna go nicer with those lenses. When I worked at DC United in MLS, we used the Sony 100 to 400 and that was one of my favorite zoom lenses I've ever used. That one you're really gonna want, it's kind of similar to football where there's gonna be celebrations in front of you that you're gonna to need to go a little wider for to like a 70 or a 100. You're gonna want a zoom lens that is probably less than 200, but also can go far to 300 or 400 mil. Just so if the ball's in the middle of the pitch or middle of the field, you won't be able to get tight at all if you just have a 200. Those are my recommendations for those four sports, football, basketball, baseball, and soccer. At Georgia, we shot all sports, right? So most common lenses we use to shoot sports like equestrian or cross country, swim and dive. The, the lenses we kind of used were Canon 24 to 105 or 70 to 200 mil, as I've mentioned many times in this video. That's it. Those two lenses are great, and it all depends on where you're going to be standing. Sometimes in swim and dive, you're going to be on the pool deck. Sometimes you'll be up in the crowd. It really depends on what you want and if you want to spend that money to get a little closer. But like equestrian, you're going to want to get a little tighter. It gives you that ability to get a little tighter. So I'd go for a 70 to 200. The same with cross country. It really is up to you when it comes to the rest of the sports and it varies on the different situations. I'm just trying to give you guys a general idea of general ranges that you can buy lenses for. If anyone has any questions, let me know in the comment section. I'm gonna end this video here and I hope you enjoyed. I'm happy to, to answer anything on Instagram at Pete Chuck or in the comment section like I mentioned. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see y'all in the next video.